Law enforcement says they want to make everyone feel safe while at tomorrow's game. They tell us for those planning to attend the college football showdown, they should note that stadium rules and regulations for this game are a little different than from NFL football games. But local hotels, restaurants, and stores are looking at the festivities from another angle, the big business the game's going to bring. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joining us from Everbank Field with a look at the security measures first. Francesca? That's right, Joy. We're about 14 hours away from the big Tax Slayer Bowl where thousands of fans will be right here at Everbank Field. Now, you can see that they're already getting ready for these fans to be here. You can see the signs here, Penn State Lions versus the Georgia Bulldogs. But before you pack your uh, trucks and get ready for those tailgates, there are some things that you need to know to make sure you can pass security here at Everbank Field. I drove all through the night to get down here. Some came from near. Others from afar, all eager to see both teams take on each other at the 71st Tax Slayer Bowl on Saturday afternoon. But at Friday's pep rally, fans say one thing stuck out, and it made them much more comfortable to be celebrating in River City. I see the security all around here, even. Definitely, I feel better. Officials tell News for Jacks that fans will also see heightened security for Saturday's game, a relief to most fans and a shock to this Georgia Bulldog. Obviously, there's the normal security that they have there, but. Um, you know, I guess maybe we're naive to think that it wouldn't happen to us, but it's, it's good to see that they'll have a present. I'm really happy they're doing that. We went to, we worked at the halftime show at the Super Bowl a couple years back, and I was really scared to go to that. But this one, I have, I have no fear that this one's going to be fine. And they've really stepped up a lot. At Saturday's game, everyone will be wanded. No food or drinks will be allowed in the stadium, and only small bags will be allowed. Our News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith tells us why the stadium is taking such severe precautions. I think all the bowl games around the country, they're stepping up security because ISIS is known to want to attack what they call soft targets, where people who are unprepared, unarmed, it's more difficult to try to protect them. And also they can do a large amount of damage with so many people in one area. So that was what ISIS likes to do. So they're going to add security, be scanning people more. The lines may take a little longer to get through, but people don't seem to mind that just knowing that they have that extra layer of security and again since there's going to be so much uh, security out here tomorrow you're going to want to get here early because the traffic could be crazy i mean there's going to be a lot of people downtown so all the information that you need to know to get here early as far as using the water taxis and the skyway can be found on newsforjacks.com because there are certain times that those machines will be operating so you want to check that out before you head on over to the game tomorrow we're now reporting live from chess gamaker channel 4 the local station the Tax Slayer Bowl is also expected to bring in tens of thousands of fans to the River City, and local businesses are ready to cash in big time. We spoke with some of them tonight. It, it makes for some funny stories, but uh, it definitely lets our night, you know, something different to look forward to. And uh, we look forward to the business and uh, the diverse people. Like oh, it's, it's wonderful, especially when they come in. Like you can tell when, when they come in with the different jerseys and stuff, we're like, well, you know, you, you guys are Georgia fans. And, and normally it's, it's awesome because, like, it's tomorrow, so they come in the night before. And um, it's it's just a, a good time, and you can tell it's 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 a different uh, vibe and a different uh, liveliness that they they bring. The game starts noon at Everbank Field.